Hey everyone, it's Desiree, and I am here with Spellbinders and their Glimmer Hot Foil System Kit of the Month, or Die Plate, whatever you want to call them. But this one is for March. So, as always, you get one of their foils, so you get to build up your foil collection within this um, kit that you'll receive every month and this one is a beautiful shade of blue and it's called sky bright um, and if you want to search by the number it's glf015 um, so and again you get 15 feet of the foil so that's what's really nice they do last a very long time your plates and dies for the month of March are beautiful eggs um, and some sentiments. So this one kind of hits many areas. So you get these eggs and we're going to do something a little different with these. I'm just saying. Um, so you have these beautiful designs that are going through them. You get a banner, uh, a long, uh, skinny rectangle banner that will easily hold your sentiments. So the words you get are wishes, spring, happy, hello, and Easter. And then finally, you get an egg-shaped die. Now, of course, the largest one actually cuts out one of these plates okay one of the egg plates so the larger one is the size for these three but you have two other sizes when it comes to um our um plates so i'm going to just set these up now i'll link down below as always to the videos on how you use the um the glimmer system you know, when it comes to the plates uh, and everything else. So that will always be linked. Um, but I'm just going to take care of, I'm just going to do some foiling. Um, and then when I do something, I'm thinking about doing something different with those plates. That is the part that I'm going to show completely. But let me get all of my other foiling done. I am going to use multiple colors. Um, of course, I will use the color that came in the kit, and that's the Sky Bright. I'm going to use a bright pink. I am going to use a... Oh, what color do I want now? I think I'm going to use this Citrine. I'm really liking that one. I think those three are really pretty together. And then I think for the last one, I'm going to use a fuchsia. Um, this is actually called fuchsia flower. Um, now, the beauty, you know, of this, remember, you can either get this individually or in a set. So I think those four colors are going to be really pretty. So I will be right back once I get these eggs um, foiled and die cut. And then I'm, gonna, I'm just going to try something different. Um, when it comes to these plates. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I have three of them done. So I chose the bright pink, the sky bright, and also, I think, is that citrine? Yes, citrine. Um, so you can see the beautiful designs on those eggs. And we're going to spruce them up just a little bit. So what I want to do now, these are sitting here. I've snapped my plate back into play. What I want to do is I want to flip these over. Now, again, I'm sure somebody else has done this. Um, I want the solid part. And if somebody else has done this, yay. Um, and they can be closer together as well. So I'm just going to now cut some pieces of my foil. So I'm gonna come up, trim that. 
And I think that's big enough. And we should be able to do that. Yes. And while it's heating, I'm good if, um, <clears throat> excuse me, if I put my cardstock down, um, and all, you know, just to create all of those things here. So, okay. Now, the other thing I think I'm going to do on one... I just, I don't know if this is going to work, but it's going to be interesting, right? Right. I'm just going to cover, <laughs> I'm going to cover the egg. Let's see what the, oh, that's got a spot in it. And let's see here. Do I have, I do keep all of my scraps. All right. So I'm going to make sure that's there. All right. We're going to see what that looks like. Okay. So now I'm going to take a piece of cardstock and you know what? I actually have, yeah, that's not big enough. Um, I thought maybe I had a piece of scrap and I think, oh, I don't know if that's big enough. Um, yes, yes it is. Okay. So you can see that's from another project and now I'm just going to. Set that on top and I'm going to set my timer because I do want this to happen longer. So I am going to grab my sentiment and get that ready so that it will say happy Easter. I'm just going to get this lined up on my grid. And I'm going to make sure that it's a yes. And I'm going to make sure that this is lined up as well as best as I can and let's grab some washi tape and let's pray I can do this in one shot because again that's going to help keeping it straight I wish I could find more of this washi tape. So low tack. Okay. So then we have that. I'm just going to let this sit here for a little bit longer than, because again, I can take it off now. I don't know if it's going to work. I'm sure somebody else has tried this and has been successful. Um, but you'll see what I'm looking to do. Um, when it comes to this. All right, let me move that so I don't lose that. All right, so when I have all of these layers on top of my plate, what I do is I like to bring my hands down in here and, and my two index fingers, my, my pointer fingers, they're actually going to push. I'm going to grab with these two fingers, my, my platform, and I'm going to push off with my index fingers to release that plate. It seems to be better. All right, I'll be right back after I run this through my Platinum Sex. So I'm going to set this back up 
Now again, the sandwich I like to do is my shim, two pieces of very thin cardstock, okay, almost like text weight for your printer, and then the spacer pad. All right, let's see if my thought process is going to work. Okay, so if I peel this off, okay, let's see here, let's peel this one off. Oh, that's cool. Okay. And then let's peel these down as well. Okay, so different looks, not solid. Here is what I'm going to move this out of my way. And actually, well, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my eggs off of this. And I'm going to get my sentiment on here and get that heated up. And I'm going to use some black foil. And I'm going to get that set in place. And then I should have. This, and I'm going to set that right there and I'll set my plates back on top. So I'm just going to let that go. So what I was looking to do now, I think I like this impression here and I'm okay with this one here as well. So what I wanted that to be for was to be for these smaller dies. Now I'm going to make sure I get that impression that's sitting there and I'm going to take this medium one and I'm going to get those um, die cut through my machine. So I'll be right back. All right. So now what we have is we just have some eggs that we can fill in. Now, again, you know, when we dye our eggs, they're not perfectly solid. They're, they've got splotches. So that's why I'm kind of, I'm okay with that. Now, I'm wondering if I had more pressure in the plates, meaning if I used more cardstock in between my two shims to add that pressure to it. Also, maybe if I didn't have the errors on the other side, well, yes, paper has two sides. But you can see as you get that pressure, you get that impression. Now, again, I think that's pretty cool. So I'm good with that. What I want to do with these is I want to add some distress inks. So let me grab my distress inks and I will be right back. Okay, so awesomely didn't turn the camera on. Okay, so what I've done is I have used my Distress Oxide and Tumble Glass picked raspberry and squeezed lemonade. And I have gone around the edges of my three foiled eggs using one of my makeup brushes. Okay. So again, the tumble glass went with the blue, the squeezed lemonade went with the citrine, and then the um, pitch raspberry went with the bright pink. Then what I also did, and you can see I've got my sentiment ready. So I lined up my words and then I used the banner to cut that out. So then I used those same three colors and the blender brush, my makeup brush to create three areas. And I am now going to die cut these out through my platinum six and I'll be right back. Okay. So here are our three eggs. So I am going to grab a couple of things. I think the one thing that, or the thing, the item that I'm going to grab, this is just a plastic mat. I grabbed my ground espresso distress oxide. 
and I'm going to grab some water. And I'm going to flick some droplets on these eggs. All right. And we are going to let those dry. Now I'm also going to add some water droplets. And we will let those set as well. Um, these tweezers I used during my quilters day, I couldn't remember where I got them. Just in case anybody has. All right, we'll move those. All right, so I'm going to let these dry. Hmm. Okay, let's try these. There we go. I hope I hit record again. Okay, I did. And again, there's our sentiment, and these are our original three. So once these are dry, we will put our card together. Okay, so let's start gluing our pieces together. So I've got my sentiment, and I'm gonna back that with a piece of cardstock. I'm going to set that and put that aside. So I have a piece of cardstock here. Now this is cut to be four and a quarter by five and a half. And then this one here is cut four by five and a quarter. So what I do want to do though is I'm just going to push those out of my way. I just want to give a slight hint at some green and blue underneath these um the eggs so i'm just going to come around like that and i'm going to come around that corner as well and again it's just just a hint of the color and then i'm going to clean this off And then I'm going to go back into with the blue and I'm going to change my location on my piece of paper here. And I'm just going to overlap the blue and the green just a little bit just to connect them. We'll bring that blue down just a little bit. All right. Okay. So, and that's our background. Very simple, nothing too fancy um, or anything else like that. Okay. So let's start building. So I'm just going to play around with the placement. And again, we never want anything too perfect. Never, never. And I think, 
right, so I'm going to put that one there. I'm going to put that there. I'm going to put that there. And I will put that one there. And then our sentiment is going to sit right there. All right, let's get to glowing. I'll be using both my liquid and foam squares. I'm going to use foam squares on that one. We're going to put that sentiment right along that edge. Yep. And we're going to pop that one just underneath and we'll prop this so it looks like all of the blue eggs are getting propped okay and now i'm going to take this panel I'm going to use my liquid glue. I'm going to set that down and center that. Now I'm going to grab my standard A2 size card base and I'm going to adhere that on there as well. Okay. And that is our card. So I hope you enjoyed what we created. Hope you got some ideas on how else you could use, you know, the solid backside. So again, it would be really cool if you had like a solid plate, um, to get, you know, those, those solid images. Now, again, I know they have the shapes and, and everything else, so again, you can use that, but I mean, that's really cool too, that you got the impression of the errors that I had on the other side. So again, I hope I, you know, again, pull the equipment out and have fun with it. You know, give things a try. Um, you can't, okay, from what I've known and what I've done so far, I mean, you can't make anything blow up. I've, I've come close, but you can't do it. So you know, just have fun with it. Have fun with what you have. Use what you have. Okay. So as always, the products that I used and all of the links to the Spellbinders blog shop gallery for inspiration and so many other items there will be linked down below in the video description. If you have any questions or comments, please make sure you reach out to me and I will make sure that I get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't already subscribed, I'd love for you to be part of my group here. And if you've already subscribed, as always, I say thankful. Thank you. And I am truly grateful um, to each and every one of you. Make sure you ring the bell so that you know when the next video is live and ready for you to view. And make sure you hit that thumbs up. Again, I do hope everyone's enjoying their day. But please make sure you remember what's most important for me that we do every day. Always be creative.